Hey there! All right, so this week I want to explore seated forward fold, Pashimottanasana. So there's a lot of different ways we can approach this pose. Um, I'm going to focus on a more restorative version because for me personally, uh, with this time of year, the holidays fast approaching and things just being really busy, um, the less active I can be in my yoga practice, the more balanced I feel outside of my yoga practice. So we're going to explore a restorative version of this pose today. So I would recommend if you want to try it out with me right now, grab a bunch of pillows, like three to five, um, maybe a folded towel or blanket. If you have yoga blocks, you can grab a block or two as well. Okay. And then we're going to sit on our mat. All right. So I have a folded up blanket here. You can use a towel or a blanket to sit on. I do recommend that. And as I'm sure many of you are familiar with this pose, right? The more active version is keeping our feet really awake, pushing away through the heels, grounding through the legs, and stretching the long spine over the legs here. This is definitely a more active version, still really nice to get a hamstring and calf stretch and to maybe relieve some lower back pain. Still a lot of great benefits in this version of the pose, but today I'm going to invite us to use some pillows. So I have a body pillow. I'm going to slide it under my knees. <clears throat> if you don't have a body pillow, you can use one or two pillows under your knees or maybe like a thick rolled up blanket, something so that the knees are supported and then can rest and have this bend in them, okay? So then I'm gonna take a pillow and put it across my lap, all right? I even have two pillows, which maybe that's where you start. Um, and from here, we're just gonna fold forward, lean over the pillows here and find a place to rest the head. You can turn it to one side, resting your head kind of on your hands, or you can rest your chin there. Sometimes I'll even kind of hold my head with my hands, just resting my face in my hands, right? You can even soften the arms down so they're not like draping forward. If you want the shoulders to relax, maybe let the elbows bend and the hands rest on the pillows. If two pillows is too much, right, the longer you spend here, the more you feel you might be able to go deeper. So then you might just take a pillow away. Sometimes I like to play around with how I move my chin in this pose and I can get a really nice stretch through my upper back and neck, depending on how I tuck the chin. Okay, you can even just give your legs a little bit of love here or your feet. If you have a block, you can always use a block. Sometimes this can be nice for the forehead, resting the forehead on the block. Or if you have two blocks, and then the hands can just rest on the legs. And then once you find that place where you can settle in, Find your breath, taking some deep breaths here. I like to think about breathing into my lower back here. It's open in this pose, so the breath can fill it up, create some space. Or you might think about breathing into the backs of your legs if this stretch is intense. And really invite the energy inward here. Just notice what's happening in your body. Notice where your thoughts are going. Notice if any emotions are coming up. And I'm going to recommend staying soft in this pose. So my feet are really relaxed here. My shoulders are relaxed. And I'm just offering my body the space to slowly come into this shape. 
okay? It can be a pretty deep stretch for the legs, so we don't want to rush it, okay? So give yourself that little bit of time, that pause to just be here, inviting as much stillness as possible, and staying connected to the breath. Watching where your energy goes, watching where the thoughts go, and breathing. Okay. Whenever you are ready to come up, draw the belly button towards the spine so that we're supporting our back. You might slide your hands back so they're on the pillow or on the floor, and with that belly button hugging in, gently push the floor away to sit up. Sitting up nice and tall here, stacking the vertebrae, reaching down through the sitting bones and lifting tall through the crown of the head. I recommend taking just a moment here, sitting tall in that length of your spine for a moment. Noticing how you feel coming out of the pose. And then when you're ready, maybe Scoop your hands under your legs to bring your knees in and start to move out of the pose, pushing the props aside. All right, so I recommend staying in this pose for at least two minutes. Um, I'd say you could stay here anywhere from two to five plus, depending on the time you have and how your body is feeling. Um, yeah, I recommend doing this pose towards the end of the day. For me, it's been helping me wind down um, and just start to shift my energy into that inward moving energy so that I can fall asleep easier. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Take your time with this one. Breathe and savor this opportunity to just pause for a moment and turn inward during this busy time of year. All right. Thank you so much, everybody.